So now that you've decided on your design, your fonts, and your colors, let's take a look at adding some pages. Your pages will be posted up here in this particular design. Some would have them down the side, um, on this side or the other. And some pages you can hide and just have a link somewhere on your page to them and not have them in your main menu. But let's go ahead and click on Pages. And you'll see that there are three pages already in this particular one. Any page I don't want, I can just click on it and say Delete Page. Anytime I want to add a page, I just click on the Add and I can say what kind of page I want, including an external link. So maybe I wanted a tab at the top that would go to our district website or to some resource that is not a page that you're going to create. You can do that. But let's go ahead and say Standard Page and now I'm going to give my page a name. So this page is going to be my Lesson Plan page and I can choose my layout here. I'm going to say I don't want a header on that one at all. You'll notice that you can hide it in the navigation menu that's up at the top here. That's what this is, this particular. And I can also password protect the page. Um, this may be a pro account only um, and put a password in order to access that. That helps protect kids if you are putting up student information that you don't want anyone to see except for people with a password. Okay, I want to continue adding pages here. I'm going to add a page for About Me and then I'm going to add some other pages under the Lesson Plan page. I'm going to put some different months. I'm going to put September, add another page, October, add another page, and November. You'll notice I'm not a very good speller, um, but I can always go back in and fix that just by clicking on this page and amending it. Okay, now these pages are in the wrong order. In fact, I want my lesson plans months right underneath my lesson plans. Notice how that I can, I can indent these. Maybe I want the About Me right next to Home. So when they're indented, let me just show you when I click on Save and Edit, that they now become drop-down menus on the page. Wow, what happened to this? I think I'll refresh my browser here. Get this pulling in a little bit better. There we go. And underneath my lesson plans, do you see how that got that nice slick drop-down menu. And the rest of these, I click on them and they're pretty blank. Some of them have the full-size header. This one has the small header. And the main lesson plan page didn't have any header at all. And again, I can pop into pages at any time and change that and say, you know what, on the lesson plan page, uh, maybe I do want a header. And maybe on the contact me, I don't want any header on that because I'm just going to put a form and I click Save and Edit. And all my changes are quickly saved and again I can pop in and out of here at any time to change the name of the pages, to add more pages, um, or to change the order.